I just had a thought. Let's see what happens when I reset a vehicle that you're in. <laughs> All right. Oh, it won't let me do it. Oh. Dang, gum it. I would have been. I got a heavy log and it is trying to tip me over. Oh shit! Into the water. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> what happens if I reset your bucket? Oh, you put uh, the what the heck? What I is fell this? In. What? I fell in the water. What is this? <laughs> I fell in the water. I'm fired. Um, we're going to have another conversation about working we're gonna for me. Have to have another, we're going to have to have another to get my chainsaw out and we're going to have to have a talk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Archer 6D and this is Tom Pluckard 69. We are going to be doing a tutorial on some real quick logging at early game stage. Uh, this is a good way to make some money quick. Some people call it cheaty. It's not really cheaty, it's just barbaric. It's not how you would want to really log because it would tear up some equipment doing this. But this is a good way to make some money fairly fast at the beginning of the game. So Tom Pluckard and I, we just did our first episode and we uh, don't have hardly any money at all so we needed to make a little bit just so we can keep our episodes going I'm gonna show you guys how to make some money quick so the first thing we did was we sold all the grain in our silos and then I sold one of our Hurley men and I bought this Steyr front end loader with the logging forks on it um, I think it costed me by the time I was done it was like a hundred and four thousand I think on normal yeah hundred and yeah, it was on normal too. So, um, anyways, so what we're gonna do is I bought that, and then you save seven thousand. All you need seven thousand extra. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your store, go to placeables, select a category, and you're gonna select placeables, and you're gonna get a fir tree. You want a long straight tree. You don't want anything with a bunch of branches in it. So we want the fir tree. And then what you're going to do is you're going to place that fairly close to wherever you're going to sell your, your logs at. So I'm going to put it right about here for now. And then you're going to back out here. So there, now I have my tree. Um, the reason we use the fir trees is they're taller than the oaks, which is one behind me. And they are easier to trim and delimb. So what I'm going to do is fall this tree. And what I want it to do is fall that way towards that house over there because I want it crossways with my pit. So what we're gonna do, rotate my saw. I like to cut my down cut first. And you hit the control key to squat so you can cut lower so you don't have a stump sticking up out of the ground. And you cut on through. And then if it doesn't fall, yep, it's gonna fall. So we're good there. Usually if it doesn't fall, then you lay your saw flat and cut another chunk out of it and then it'll make it fall over. So when you're delimbing, the easiest way to do this, rotate your saw a little bit, look down at the tree, hold down that left mouse button and run up the tree. And see how the wood chips are flipping off the saw there? That means I'm cutting. Can't really see them falling off yet. But we'll run out to the end and voila. You missed the whole that side is, of it. Holy <laughs> cow, we gotta start over. So that's, so then you just run up and you hit these light brown colored ones. Go away. Beautiful. So that is delimbing a tree. And then what you'll do is you have a partner here, this gentleman, Tom Pluckard, is going to cut them in about 10 foot sections or so. It doesn't really matter. You make, from what we figured, I've checked it, you make more by chunking the tree and selling it in pieces like this per stump than you do by pushing the whole tree and I know you guys have seen a lot of videos on how to make this quick make easy money fast and they tell you just push whole tree in if you cut it into chunks you make more money so we will do a test and we will chunk this tree and then this other tree I'm gonna push it in whole and we're gonna see what we make more money off of um, so while he's cutting that up I'm gonna come over here and we're gonna fall this oak tree and I'm gonna show you why we don't use an oak tree and if Tom Pluckard wants to come over after he's done with his job show them how to deal in one of these guys so we're cutting our V 
V-cut here. You can't really cut a wedge like you would in real logging, but you can get pretty close. So what I do is I cut my kick out, and then I cut it flat across. And what this should do is it should kick that wedge out and make the tree fall towards the lake. And sometimes they don't want to fall, so what you do is you get a tractor and you push it, blast the thing over. <laughs> All right, you got that done there, Tom? You must have lagged out there for a second. Yeah, I'm just about there. I'm still working at her. One more cut and we'll be done. Okay, I'm gonna push this oak tree over here. I think it's ash, actually. So I'm gonna push this over real quick. Oh, sure, it's gonna fall before I even get to it. See how that is? Makes me get out of the tractor. All right, so come over here, and then what you do, whenever you're ready, Tom, come on up here. Well, you really gotta make sure that you get all the way through that tree. Yeah, you don't wanna stop. You wanna hold that button down until he stands up on his own, until your character stands up on his own. You wanna hold her down. So what you do with these things, they're kind of a pain. That's why nobody likes logging them, even in real life. So trim the, the limbs off that you can, off the logs. So you just run up each of these limbs and just knock as many of these off as you can while you're up here. It makes it a little bit easier. And then what you do is you come back here wherever the, wherever it meets the main trunk, the limb does, and you get your saw and you cut at whatever angle you need. The straighter the better. That's what they always say in logging. The straighter the better. Make more money. So you just cut your cut your limbs off like that and then finish delimbing. So this just takes a lot more work cutting one of these up. As far as money wise, they're about equal because you make money off each of those branches that come off of that. So they're about equal. I haven't done the math to really say that's true or not, but that's how you do it. So if Tom wants to go ahead and finish that tree off, go ahead and chunk her up and then I'll push it in later. I will go over here and I'm going to demonstrate to him how to push a log into a lake. Alright, so Tom Plucker is going to go ahead and trim that tree up, finish him up. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to push some logs into the lake. So I'm at 26, 30, 29, 20, we'll say 26, 30. Let's see what we end up with. You guys are going to see some skills here. Just like that. Beautiful. Look at them skills. <laughs> uh, we were practicing this earlier and I wasn't messing up this bad. Now I can't do it. See? Do it on camera and I can't run the stupid loader. Alright, here we go. Pushing it. It's alright people. I'll, I'll get warmed up here. We'll, we'll be alright. Don't get it. <laughs> we'll get her. There we go. Oh, I hit a bump and messed it all up. Alright, well, folks. Hate to have you sit here watching this terrible display of front loader operating. Alright, so there's one log. We're at 52.50. So I said 26.30. And Tom Pluckert is our math genius here today. He's going to be At doing 26, the math. At <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Yep. I was uh, sawing, trying to. In school, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on, kiddo. I graduated from a small town. You know this. <laughs> uh, holy cow. All right. Push it in. Quit trying to grab onto it. Oh, crud. Oh, oh. All right, ladies Did and gentlemen, me? we're going to have to make a cut. We'll be right back. <laughs> All right, folks, welcome back. We had some technical difficulties there. Um, if you drive your tractor into the lake, it doesn't want to come back out. So I had to do a reset and drive it all the way back. So here I am. So we are on the last few chunks of log here. I didn't push anything else in since the uh, incident. Um, so we are going to finish pushing this one tree in here that we've trimmed up. Let's see how much we get. Don't do it again. All right, all right, there we go. 
11 420. We're on our way. Nice. Sorry, guys, I get to concentrate and I uh, get quiet. That's, yeah. why I, that's why I have Tom here, so that he can uh, fill in the gaps. Fill in the yeah. gaps. You know. I'm not doing, doing too good at that, am I? <laughs> <laughs> not when you're concentrating, too. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I'll tell you, trimming this oak tree is a son of a gun. Are you getting there? Very much. We're working. just about there. You're getting there. <laughs> it's a heck of a lot quicker than it would be if I was doing it at home, but still not very fast. Yep. All the railroad tracks are messing me up. Who trimmed this tree anyways? Uh, I don't know. I tell you. Okay. There's still limbs okay. on it. Not to fire that guy. Unacceptable. <laughs> we are getting right. some limbs. Ooh. All right, continuing on. Here we go. I lagged a little bit there. Good enough. I actually got kicked out. Oh, no. You left the server. So I will keep pushing this tree in until he makes it back in. Oh, still on team speak, so that's good. Mm-hmm. We'll have him keep the, uh, the the breathing down to a minimum here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this little bugger is going to be a pain. Get it off that stump. There we go. Hey, get one of them phone deals on the microphone. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. No, I was just wondering, because I'm pushing this sign here with this tree. I'm wondering if I make money for pushing a sign in the lake, too. How <laughs> to take money away, huh? Yeah. city don't like that. I'm sorry about this, folks. Usually I do way better, but for some reason, once I hit that record button, I just can't. All thumbs. Everything goes to crud. All right, the last... Oh... All right, sorry about that, folks. He was synchronizing coming in. We had to stall it there. So anyways, I pushed that last tree limb in, and we ended up with 55255 which makes an income off of one tree of 52632 And that was chunked up into about 10-foot sections or so, about five chunks, and delimbed. So what we're going to do... Go ahead, Tom. Go for it. I'm on way here. I'm, I'm just about over here to you. Jumping fences and popping well, if, rails. And if you tab into that other tractor that you brought down, it'd be a little quicker. Why would I want quick? Yeah, true, true. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to follow this tree across the, the other way, and we're going to do this one without any prep and just push it into the lake. So let me go ahead and chop her down. Gonna fall okay so now what you do if it isn't gonna fall at that point is go flat and cut out the wedge and fall and timber or something come on now oh I'm gonna have to use a tractor that's all right it'll save us a step all right so we're gonna push this tree over same tree, same fir tree. We paid 7000 for it. We just put that one up before when we were testing, trying to show Tom Pluckard how to do some logging. All right, so there's a whole tree. We are going to push it in the water. This might be a bit much for this tractor. I think I've just about got this tree. This thing's heavy. All done up here, man. Sweet. It is still trying to mess with me, but I am going to prevail. 
Same here, this big old tree's making me work for it. So we like to have moments of silence here, that awkward moment. Alright. We're both concentrating. <laughs> That's what we do. Alright, tree's going in the water. 55, 252. Let's see what we did. You ready for your math? 55, 252. 59,884. 59,884. Minus 52. What do we have? 55? See, I done yes. forgot what we had. 250 or something like that? Close yes, enough. Whatever. So, 4, putting a whole... And, uh, 600. There you go. So, putting a whole tree in, we only made 4,000 bucks. Limbing the tree, chunking it up, pushing it in, we made 55,000 bucks. Or 52,000. So, there it is, folks. That is better to trim, delim a tree and put it in the water than it is to just push a whole tree in. So if you want to make money fast, that's what you do. Alright, this one is all ready to, uh, or just about. Excellent. So the next stage for the, uh, for this to make it a little bit easier on yourselves is to get the, uh, what's it called? Give me one second here. Go to the forestry equipment is get the uh, Steppa FHL 13AK. That way you've got grab hooks. You can just grab the logs and drag them over there. Um, it's a little bit easier to drag them through um, with that around than it is to use this front loader, but the front loader does work if you're in the right spots. Um, the only problem you're going to have you keep going with this and doing this trick with the money is you're going to end up with a bunch of stumps. So as soon as you make enough money, buy a stump cutter and get rid of the stumps so they don't hang up on your trees and make it hard for you to push them in the lake so folks that's it that's the tutorial on how to log um, real quick make a little quick money and I wanted to set some things right and show you that you made more money by shortening the logs up cutting them into pieces about 10 footers or so um, I haven't tested it at like doing really short logs but that'd be such a pain trying to push those around anyways I'd like to thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed the tutorial give me the thumbs up if not, if you, if not, let me know why, and maybe I can help you out and show you how to do some logging. If you haven't yet, I'm starting my own Let's Play going on. Um, same here with Tom Pluckert. He's joining me for another one, so I'm running two at the same time. If you guys want to see some more antics, come on and join us. Subscribe, all that good stuff. Do Thanks plenty for, of outtakes and funny parts too. Hey, there you go. Yeah, we're working on that part too, all the time, because there's a <laughs> lot of stuff that happens. <laughs> anyway, thanks for joining us. I uh, hope you all have a great day, and we will see you next time.